Hey guys, it's Tracy here and um, today I thought I would jump in and I wanted to talk about this. What lies are you telling? So this um, has been stimulated by a couple of things. So one, I just happened to do a Facebook Live inside of one of my um, closed Facebook groups with all of my members and I was talking about um, how the opinions of other people can impact or change the trajectory of somebody's life or the path that you are headed down based on the opinions of other people. And then I, um, as I got off of that Facebook Live and I had been talking about that and we were kind of going back and forth in conversation, I then happened to watch a, another one of my mentors. So this is a guy that's inside of a program that I'm in and he's one of the um, one of the accountability coaches in there. George is his name, and George was talking about how he's just got off a twelve hour mastermind uh, hackathon with a whole group of other people inside of our program, and the the theming of what he was talking about was very very similar to what I had just uh, spoken about inside of my um, my group, and but the theme was a little bit different in the sense that. He was talking about what lies are you telling? So the conversation I was having with my group was, you know, are you letting the opinions of other people impact where you're going and what you're wanting to do? So if your intuition and your um, your gut feeling and your goals are aligned in a particular direction, how often do you let the opinions of others impact those and derail you and take you on a different path? Now, his conversation was similar, but in a different vein. So his conversation was more around, what are you telling yourself that derails you? So quite often, we, um, most of us would say, like, we don't tell lies. Like, it's, it's not the right thing to do, right? We want to be truthful. We want to be saying the right things. We want to be doing all of the right things. And quite often, that is a very outward Thing that we do we don't tell lies to other people we we don't voice and tell you know say the wrong things however on the inside you're probably telling loads and loads and loads of lies and I would hazard a guess that you probably tell lies thousands and thousands of times a day um, and I bet you none of you are going to say that that is untrue so what do I mean by this how often do you tell yourself you're not good enough at something, you cannot do something, you're not capable of doing that, you're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, you're not fast enough, you're not, don't have enough information, you can't, don't, can't, won't, whatever. And we constantly are telling ourselves these things on the inside. And how often are they absolute BS and full of bullshit lies that we continually tell ourselves and I can tell you this because I've been there I've told myself a whole heap of crappy lies in the past about stuff that I wasn't capable or that I thought I was not capable of doing I thought at the time that I was not good enough I thought that you know other people wouldn't um, like what I had to say I thought all of these multitude of different things and maybe you're having similar sorts of thoughts um, too. But the reality is, what would just, I just want to place this for a moment, what would happen if you turn those around? So George was talking about, and I found this really interesting, so he was talking about if you're going to tell lies, why don't you tell bloody good shit lies instead of what you're probably you said you were capable, that you absolutely and you're a good decision maker and you make a thing and then you figure out the ways to do it. What if you started turning all that rush that we tell ourselves often and say, what if you turned all of those around and them to be negative and you actually made a effort to turn them into a positive? I wonder what would happen. So those are the I wonder what would happen if you actually start. So, and it, what absolutely resonated with me, and I thought, right, George, what if we did start? What if you were going to tell 
to yourself, as we do in our own minds, if you were going to life, what if it was a really good one and it painted a picture of where you're going to go and what amazing life you're going to have and the things that you, um, you know, the positive things about what you're capable of and what you're... Um, what massive potential you have and what opportunities present themselves and so on and so forth. What if you were actually able to do that? I wonder what changes you would actually have in your life and how different things might be. And I know this for sure. So I started doing this. Um, you can ask some of my friends a few years ago. You know, I started having those thoughts of, man, I'm not good enough. I can't do that. I'm not sure that people will, you know, will like what I've got to say, blah, 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 all that crap that we, that we tell ourselves. And then over time, I really started to work on my inner game, started to change the negative thoughts that I would be having, even if it's just a little one. You know, you start being aware of it and, and acknowledging that that thought, but then turning it around and make it, replacing it with a positive one. And then all of a sudden, over a period of, you know, you do this often for 12 months, and I can tell you for sure, your life will be significantly different in 12 months' time. A, make yourself aware of it. Stop telling yourself terrible lies about how awful and insignificant and how... You can't do stuff. Turn those around. And even if you have to start telling yourself a lie where you are actually friggin' awesome, where you do amazing things, where you impact people in a profound way, where you are um, able to impact people all over the world, where you're making a real difference, where what you have to say is well received, and all of these great things, start turning around those negative lies about yourself start turning them into positives and just see what happens. Um, the thing that I've learned over time is that to get to this point, you have to surround yourself with good people. You have to be around them because you're on the same wavelength, because they're on the same journey as you, they understand, and they will be your wingman or wingwoman to make sure that you've got the support in the at the times that you need. That's really, really important. Sometimes we lean we lean in to the people that we really shouldn't. Um, and as much as we love our friends and family and they you know, can be amazing in other ways, if they are not on the same journey as you, if they don't understand where you're going, then they are, they are not the right people to be asking advice of. They're not the right people to be leaning into and getting um, the support from because they're probably going to try and support you but they'll be doing it in in maybe in the wrong way in a way that you don't need you don't need people questioning you you don't need people to ask you things where you're going to be sick and guessing yourself you need to be around people who are going to go hey Trace that's a friggin awesome idea and you should do that and you would be amazing at that and if you need a hand I'm here to help you that's the sort of language and the types of people that you need to be around. If that's somewhere where you want to be and you need some help to, um, to get you to a place where you, A, want to either build a business or you want to take your business to the next level and you want to be surrounded by the right kind of people, then maybe jumping into one of my programs is the right place to be. And if it is, then you'll reach out to me. I know you'll you'll find that, you know, this the stuff that I'm talking about is resonating with you and you want to be part of what I'm doing, then um, feel free to message me. If it's not, you can hang around and you can start listening and, and uh, be part of what I'm talking about. And over time, there might be little things that you can implement into your life that just makes things just that little bit easier, that little bit brighter on a day where, you know, maybe some things are not going your way. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I want you to, to, to leave you with what lies are you telling yourself? Just be very aware of them and to turn those negative lies into positive ones and just see what happens over time. So if you want to connect with me, feel free to type into the comments box. Otherwise, just message me and we can have a, an offline conversation and we can take this a little bit further. But anyway, have a fantastic day and I look forward to jumping back on the Tracy M. Wilson page and sharing some more little gems uh, with you over time. But have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.